This is Mark Gullings, and uh, today I'm going to demonstrate a HMI screen written in C++ running on Linux. And uh, you can see the water station here. There's a float sensor, a heater, a temperature sensor, and also two pumps and a drain. And you see the two pumps running right there in manual mode. And uh, one at a time and then I'll turn them both on and then we're going to test the overflow. Uh, there's actually a protection on it that uh, once the tank hits a certain level it's going to hit the emergency stop. As you can see right there. And there I'm going to use the manual drain uh, that's not actually wired to a PLC or anything, that's just a physical drain. And then I will clear out the e-stop. And I was meant to test the heater here, but uh, you can't hear the relay turn the heater on. It's kind of hard to see that it actually heats. So, But uh, just know the heater does work. We'll get to that eventually. And you can see it's reading the tank level, displaying it right on the PLC. And now I'm going to switch it to auto mode and hit the start button and you'll see both pumps are running and then at 80% fill it is going to shut off pump 1, pump 2 will level it off. That float sensor is a little inaccurate so we're trying to prevent a little bit of bounce by running only one pump towards the end. Now it's going to heat the tank and I am actually going to drain the tank manually just a little bit so we're not heating quite so much water it'll uh, make this program run just a little bit faster so you can see more of what it's actually doing you can see that's the uh, temperature sensor sticking right down uh, right above the uh, heat coil right there And here's the HMI screen uh, it's showing a heartbeat and also you're looking at the automatic run mode and we're going to fill the tank up to 100%. You can see I actually have my set points. Um, I do need to actually turn the uh, temperature set point from 90 all the way up to 100. There we go. And I sped up time here on the video so that we can see this go a little faster. It takes forever for that for that water to heat up, but we're going to heat up to 100 degrees. You see the water in the tank is changing color. And as soon as it hits 100 degrees, it's now going to drain. And I am turning down the set points. Now we're going to fill it to 50% and heat it to 90 degrees for the next cycle instead of uh, all the way to 100%, 100 degrees. and you can see now it's filling and it, like I said that float sensor is not too accurate it went over by six percent there uh, but we're sitting at 56 for a value and the set point is 50 and uh, the temperature set it right now it's at 85 degrees counting up to 90 as soon as it hits 90 degrees we're going to drain again And 
mind, I'm actually going to switch this back into manual mode so that I can manually turn that drain on and not have it continue the cycle. And apparently I left the heater on the last time I was in manual mode. Oops. Shame on me. This project was made in the Mitchell Technical Institute SCADA lab and I used Seascape to design the ladder for the Horner PLC. The HMI was written using QT. Using the uh, QModbus program I modified that. QModbus is based on live Modbus and the operating system used was OpenSUSE Linux. And for more information you can visit my website at www.makeritnet.